Friends, do you think it's too strong to say that Uber despises drivers? If you've already interacted with Uber's customer support agents, I think you know this is true. Now, I'm not upset now, but I was very frustrated by Uber Eats customer support on a recent failed delivery. The offer was $20 going three miles. Those are great earnings. This isn't the first time that I've been treated so poorly by Uber Eats customer support agents. And so I'm gonna briefly share what happened and then I'm gonna give you two vital tips to help you when you contact Uber's customer support. Hello everyone, my name is Russ and I strive to help you earn more money and obtain better ratings based off my expertise doing gig work part-time going on six years. Now, if you'll notice, this is the moment when I received this unicorn order for $20 at a McDonald's. I was about to turn off the app when it came through. Let me tell you, I was beyond excited. Once I parked at McDonald's, I looked at the order, expecting it to just be a ton of food. But as soon as I saw that it was two orders of french fries, I suspected this is going to be a scammer. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that a scammer tried to defraud me while doing food delivery, but more on that later. I went inside and the restaurant did not receive the order, so I contacted Uber Eats support via chat right away in light of the suspicious order. I asked him to send the order again. When the agent said that he was unable to contact the restaurant, I asked the workers, please answer the phone. She said the phone never rang. I asked the agent to call again and they were waiting for his call. He never did. Instead, he quickly canceled the order and got rid of me as soon as possible. I had asked if a scammer was trying to commit fraud. No response. At first, he said that I would get the customary $3 fee, the payment for my time, but then he retracted that and said I would get nothing. <laughs> I checked my cancellation rate. Previously it was 1% and even now it's still 2%. I did reply to the chat trying to get some money and also now to fix my cancellation rate. The agent transferred me to someone else and soon after I did receive another message that was not helpful. Later the next morning I received another email that was unhelpful as you can see here. My cancellation rate still remains at 2%. Didn't get any money for my time. Okay, friends, the first tip that you should do is take screenshots of all your customer orders that you receive on Uber or any other platform. This is going to be your proof that the offer is as you claim. This way, the agents can't deny that you have proof. The second thing you should do when interacting with Uber's customer support agent is to chat with them. This way you can take screenshots of the conversation for further proof if needed. Now, when you call, you'll have a hard time understanding them because English is not their primary language and they aren't proficient. There is no proof in a phone conversation, so take screenshots of your chats. By the way, if you're getting value, would you please click the like button and also like the channel? It really helps a lot. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. In this instance, Uber Eats couldn't get rid of me fast enough. Does this sound like a company that sincerely values their independent contractors, their drivers? How would you feel if you'd already driven a few miles and then you found out you wouldn't earn anything and you even get penalized on your cancellation rate? Uber's community guidelines mention treating people with respect. Was I respected or rather despised and abused? Who works for free? I don't and I don't think you should either. Uber sent the offer. I accepted it, drove to the restaurant, went inside to pick it up. This is called work and I should be paid for my time and vehicle usage. Dara, you and your company need to do much better. Instead of reimagining things, focus on the basics of your jobs. Treat your drivers with respect by paying them fairly and communicating effectively. Earlier, I had mentioned that scammers are on Uber. How would you react if a scammer contacts you? What are the circumstances this happens? You can learn about this by watching me confront a scammer while on another food delivery app.